Welcome to Toffee TV. It is the Stan 11 show. Tottenham Hotspur versus Everton. Can we find an 11 for this game? That's the biggest worry. Um, obviously, Everton have uh, a lot of issues at the moment. A lot of injury problems, suspension problems. Um, yeah, and it's really, really difficult to try and put a team together for this game. Um so yeah, I'm gonna try and put a team together. I'm not sure, I'm not sure it's gonna to be too pretty, but um, let's see how it goes. Uh, I'm gonna go for a back three, a back three of Michael Keane, Jake O'Brien, and Vitaly Michalenko. Um, I just think could have gone for a back four. Could have put Mason Holgate at right back. He might go with that. Um, I'm just not trusting a back four with Mason Holgate and Michael Keane and then someone making their Premier League debut. So I'm going to go for a three. I, again, I don't know how much difference it makes. I really don't. But listen, I remember us going back to a back three when we had defensive issues against Burnley. I know it's a slightly different uh, proposition playing Tottenham, but we went to a back three when we played them. And it worked. Listen, it hasn't worked on other occasions. We went to Wolves. I think we played the back three and didn't work. So um, I'm going to go for three with those three. At right wing back, I'm going to go with Jack Harrison. And at left wing back, I'm going to go with McNeil. Um, again, they'll just have to be a bit more defensive and work hard and tires, tires, tirelessly, um, making sure at times it's a five, but still giving that that little something going forward um and protecting getting back making it making it tight and protecting that that three um because it will be difficult obviously michael michael Keane is the is a senior defender but jake o'brien would be making his premier league debut and michelenko would be playing in a position slightly a slightly alien he's played it before and i think he can play it. um he, you know, he, he looked a little bit not off at that. He just didn't look sharp last week. Didn't have that f fitness match fitness that that is uh, that sharpness because of he didn't have a full preseason. Obviously, we know we've had he's had injuries. Um, so McNeil and Harrison to protect because <laughs> I can't really think. There's no one else. I mean, you the only other alternative is if actually um, Holgate played right wing back. But that sort of defeats the object in many ways. So um, that's what I'm going to go for. So, yeah, it probably turns to a back five, which is slight, only, the only worrying situation. Or, But I don't know if having a back five is is better than having a back four in this situation. In midfield, a Gana Gay, um, Abdelai Decore and Tim Inabuna playing as a like a flat three. You know, and... and Working, working that space again to stop plays. Obviously, Ghana is a good presser. Tim Irabun, we saw last week, uh, he had a great debut, great start to his Evan career. Um, can he take that on in this game? Can he be bold? Can he pick the ball up and maybe run into spaces and take it, you know, take it up the pitch? We saw signs of that last week. I think he's another one who just his general fitness has to improve. You know, playing ninety minutes in a Premier League game, he hasn't hasn't played many of them. Um, and and again in this game it'll be a lot about protecting the back line, uh, stopping the passing lanes, make making sure you follow your runners. Obviously, all these things are things that centre midfielders expect to do, but and be good with on the ball as well. You know, not 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 be giving it away like I just again gay did last week. Um, and the core, I mean, now the core can play a little bit deeper, can sit in that role. In fact, it might be a case that he plays more of that role. As he gets, maybe as he gets a little bit older, um, and can't be make those runs into the box anymore. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But I think that's that's a makeup of a midfield that again, there's not. We don't have too many others in that area at the moment. Um, and obviously with James Garner out, we just don't have we don't have a lot of cover. Um, but what we do have is players who can play ahead of that. Um, whether it be Lindstrom or Ndai. So I'm going to go for Ndai for this one. He got his first Premier League experience last week 
again, someone who can pick up the ball and run at players. Obviously, we haven't seen enough of Lindstrom yet. He played 90 minutes in the EFL so for the other night just to get that bit more fitness in his legs. But obviously, that's nowhere near what he'd need for the pre- for a Premier League game. So, I think in die just again, is that a player who can pick up the ball and run at people and can try and hurt them and run into space and keep hold of the ball as well. Give give the rest of the team a bit of a breather if you're under the cosh. Um, but again, it's what you do when you get the ball. You've got to make sure you use it well. Don't give it away. Don't give it away in silly areas. But again, pick up fouls. Pick up clever free kicks that we can we can work off. You know, even or set up a corner, whatever it takes to get us into areas where we can be dangerous. Um, so for me, in that final third, playing as a playing as a number ten, I, I think this would be a ideal scenario for that to happen. Because um, he can join in, he, he is someone who will work hard, he will drop back and pick up the ball and try and go forward with it. Maybe a little bit more than than the Corey, but again, we're, we're yet to really see that, so we don't really know. But um, So he's the player I'd go from there. I know fronts, um, I, I'd go for Dominic Carvalhoon. I know a lot of people might want Dominic Carvalhoon, I know a lot of people might go, oh, I'll bet, but you know, he's not committed or just put Beto in again. Beto scored a couple in the week. Played ninety minutes, but again, this is a game. I think we're gonna we're gonna need our centre forward to hold up the ball for us. And Dom is the best one we've got at doing that. Um, uh, you know, we do like to go long anyway, but I think this is a be a game where Michael Keane will be told uh, on lots of occasions to just play those diagonals or just play it straight and let Dom try and win that ball and let and I try and pick up the pieces um, and allow then other people to join in the core. Timmy Raboonham to get forward and obviously you know McNeil or Harrison taking turns maybe or whatever it is but that's how that's how we're going to get into those danger areas and again create those moments and um, opportunities to get set pieces and stuff so yeah there you go that's my start 11 let me know your thoughts in the comments this game isn't going to be pretty by any means but let's go down there and give it our best go and see what happens at the end of the day that's all you can really do isn't it and who knows? Who knows? We've been in these kind of sticky situations before and we've got something out of the game. You can never tell. It's backs against the wall and that might bring something out of these plays. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. What would you what would you go for? Don't forget to check out the match preview with uh, Baz and myself. We've done that. Um, and also Sean Dyche's press conference is there to watch on Toffee TV as well. Make sure to give this video a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you want more great videos, head over to Toffee TV Premiere where there are no adverts on any of the videos or any of the podcast plus exclusive live daily shows. Thanks for watching. See you later.